let's turn our attention to China now. China has been under the spotlight in recent times. There are a lot of discussions about a possible hard landing and the banking crisis. We do want to share our view on that. In short, we do see the Chinese banking sectors are likely to come is likely to come under pressure in terms of their profitability and asset quality. However, we see a full-fledged banking crisis as a very unlikely scenario. At the same time, we also believe that the soft lending scenario is a higher possible event than a hard lending scenario in China. In our view, the non-performing loan level in the Chinese banking sector is almost certain to rise. In the past two years, the strong loan growth and the loose underwriting standards for lending made to local financing vehicles has weakened the banking sector's average loan quality. We believe the key risk to the banking sectors are the lending to local government financing vehicles and their exposures to property developers. At the end of 2010, exposure to local government financing vehicles is about 18 to 20 percent of the entire loan book for the banking sector, uh, which stood at 50 trillion renminbi. Lending to uh, property-related exposures is about also 18 to 20 percent of the entire loan book and the lending to property developers is about 12 to 13 percent. Now let's take a look at the potential impact uh, and let's take an extreme case first. Assuming that is no government support coming, which we believe is a very unlikely scenario, the banks are likely to face a 600 basis point rise in their NPL level from their lending to local government financing vehicles. And that, is, that will translate into 400 billion US dollar of bad debt in the next few years. However, as I mentioned earlier, we don't believe that is a likely scenario. There are indications that the government has already considering uh, different measures to take away risk from the banking sectors. That said, we do not see that the banks will walk away clean. We believe banks will have to share some of the pains and they, will, they are likely to book some losses uh, in their P&L in the next few years, although the amount we believe will be at a manageable level. Now, another key risk area is lending to developers. Developers credit performance is a lot more sensitive to the property prices than the residential mortgage book. In our view, the residential mortgage book in China is relatively safe and the sensitivity to the, um, uh, to the uh, volatility in property price is a lot less. We believe the, a lot of property developers um, could face liquidity pressure if the current uh, liquidity tighten measures continues. So in the next few years, it wouldn't surprise us if the MPL from this sector continue to increase. As our corporate, uh, as our corporate analysts uh, published recently, we have changed our outlook for the Chinese property sectors from stable to negative, and there are an increasing number of negative outlooks on property credits that we rate. Another key sensitivity for the Chinese banking sector is interest rate height, which the government use as a tool to fight inflation. The increase in interest rates could push some of the marginal borrowers over the edge and therefore put pressure on the banking sector's NPL level. We have run some sensitivity analysis. A 100 basis point rise in interest rates in uh, borrowing costs could generate about a 180 uh, basis points of additional non-performing loans for the banking sector. If we push it for further by squeezing the EBITDA 
uh, margin of the corporate sector by 10% and at the same time increase the interest rate by another 250 basis points. Uh, the NPL ratios could increase by another, uh, sorry, by a total of 300 basis points. Now, that said, uh, all these pains are not going to be shared evenly among all the banks in China. We believe the major banks are likely to fare better than the smaller institutions because of their stronger uh, risk management capability and because of their uh, stronger financial and earning profile. In summary, we do see that the Chinese banking sector is likely to see pressure on their profitability and asset quality in the next couple of years. However, a crisis is unlikely. The banking system's current uh, sound financial profile, strong earning capability, potential government support, and a robust economy all provide cushions for the banks to face challenges in the next couple of years. And that's all for China. Now I would like to turn it to Gavin Gunning, Director of Financial Institutions Ratings in Asia Pacific, to talk about the other major banks and banking system in Asia Pacific. Thank you.